Hey everyone, welcome back. Today in video, we're gonna see how we can diagnose the GDI injectors by reading the waveform of the injector. This engine that you see right now is a GDI engine. We have some videos on the channel for diagnosing the injectors themselves, injectors and injectors circuits on MPI and on GDI engines. But in this video specifically, we're gonna go for checking the GDI injectors waveform. And for that, we're gonna use this budget oscilloscope. I've used oscilloscope before on the channel for diagnosing the network, for diagnosing the cam and crankshaft position sensors. But because many friends ask me to keep making more videos of this oscilloscope on the car, that's why today we are using it for checking the GDI injectors. The waveform that you get from GDI injectors is way different from the port injectors. That's why I'm making this video today. And of course, we're gonna see how good this oscilloscope is for capturing that waveform so we can read it and analyze it. Before starting the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. You can find our online courses in the video description as well. And if you are interested to learn more about this oscilloscope, you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. So on this engine, GDI injectors are mounted under the intake manifold. So it means if I need to reach to the injectors, I have to take the intake manifold out, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I need to start the engine. If I take the intake manifold, then I'm gonna have some issues for starting the engine. So for reaching to the injectors, there's a connector up here. So this connector is between the injectors and engine control modules. It means we can reach to the wiring of the injectors from here. Let's have a look at the wiring diagram of these injectors. On port injectors, we have two wires, which one of them is connected to the fuse box to carry the positive voltage and negative is connected to ECM as control line. But on GDI injectors, as you see, both wires are connected to the ECM. And ECM controls the injectors by controlling those wires. So we have the positive side and negative side that normally we call it high side and low side. So we can read the waveform from each one of them or we can go individually one by one. Right now, I'm gonna go for one of them. This oscilloscope that I'm using is a two channel oscilloscope. So it's capable of reading high side and low side together but i'm gonna go for one of them right now to make it easier for this video back on the wiring diagram that connector that you see in between is this connector that we have on the top of intake manifold so we can reach to the wiring much easier we're gonna go for the high side for the injectors you can read the waveform from the voltage and of course you can go for the current as well today i don't have my clamp meter to measure the current i'm gonna go for the voltage right now but i will try to make another video for the current as well i have already backed prop this pin which is for injector number one and on the oscilloscope prop is connected to the oscilloscope from this end and on the other end i have these two as i mentioned in the previous videos this oscilloscope is really easy to set up so i'm gonna need to put this one right here on the back prop that i have inserted and this one for a good ground. Let's go for a start in the engine and see what sort of waveform we're gonna get. So we're getting the waveform here. It's too big for us. We need to make some adjustments. So I'm using 10x attenuators, so I'm gonna change it to 10x. And if we go for adjusting the voltage, we can put it on 20 volts. We can bring the waveform a little lower. And if we go for the trigger, we can put the trigger on normal it's on rising edge. We can actually adjust the trigger from here. The time setting should be adjusted. So this is the waveform that we are getting. If I stop the waveform, this is the waveform that we get from this GDI injector on the high side. So I'm gonna go for stopping the engine, then we can read the waveform. I stopped the engine and we see the waveform right now from this GDI injector. At the first look, you see this waveform is way different from what we had on the port injectors or MPI injectors. So you see one example of the port injectors waveform on the screen, which is way different from what we have in here. So let's see what we can understand from this waveform. 
so right here at the very beginning you don't see any activity so if i measure the voltage right now at this point at the very beginning so on v1 as you see the voltage over here is almost zero so we see no activity over there but right here at this point you see we have a voltage spike voltage has been increased this is exactly when ecm activates this injector to start the injection so the voltage at this point is going to go up to 67 volt in this case i've seen different type of gdi injectors the voltage over here could be something between 50 to 60 or a little higher than 60 in this case so this is the peak voltage which is going to open the injectors so at this point injector starts opening injector is not fully open yet injector starts opening and if you check the current right now at this point you see the current is increasing as well right at this point the injector is fully open and again if you look at the current you see at this point the injector is drawing the highest amount of current for example in this case that you see on the screen on the current we have 13 amp current draw on the injector at the highest so we need to remember that gdi injectors draw a considerable amount of current but right at this point that injector is opened fully ecm wants to keep injecting of course because this injection is not enough injector is just opened fully it needs to continue injection but if it keeps providing this amount of current it's going to end up to overheating the injector which is going to of course damage the injector itself so what happens here for keeping the injector open we don't need that much high current anymore because the high current that we needed at the very beginning it was actually for opening the injector but right now that injector is open we don't need that high current anymore so that's why as you see the voltage is going to drop a little here and of course the current is going to drop as well for example in this case again you see the current is dropped to three amp during the injection it means injector is open is receiving lower current is not overheating as well injection is going to continue up to this point and at this point that you see the voltage is dropping rapidly this is exactly when injector starts closing at this point the injector is fully closed this is when injector starts closing and at this point injector is fully closed on some gdi injectors when you read the waveform you see some activities here as well that's actually what we call it preparation it means ecm provides a little voltage at that point to help the injector generates magnetic field just to make it ready for the injection for opening at that point the injector is not going to be open basically on this one we already know the peak voltage you need to know the peak voltage because it's important for your oscilloscope if you are using any oscilloscope you need to make sure what is the maximum input voltage that your oscilloscope can tolerate so if you are reading a waveform and the maximum voltage is higher than what your oscilloscope can take you need to use an attenuator on this one i'm using a 10 to 1 attenuator that's why i put it on 10x right here and if we're gonna go for injection duration we need to go for this cursor the vertical one one right here at the end and one right here at the very beginning right at this point so this time period is the injection duration that you can see right here so basically injection duration in this case was 1.9 millisecond from here to there injector has injected 1.9 millisecond we already read the waveform you know the different sections on the waveform the first thing is when you read the waveform of course you can have a look at the workshop manual to find a good known waveform to make sure what you are reading is good or bad if your oscilloscope is capable of reading more waveforms at the very same time you can compare the waveform from this injector and the other ones to see if the waveform from this injector is good or bad any issues that you have on the injector on the wiring can affect this peak voltage if this peak voltage is too low because of the injector issues or wiring injector cannot open so you will have no injection if the injection duration is too low or too high it can of course affect the engine operation and fuel consumption as well so basically when you are comparing this one with the other injectors you can compare the waveform visually then you can go for measuring the peak voltage or you can go for reading the injection duration and you can compare it as well so this was another video for 
using oscilloscope for diagnosing the engine. We have many other videos for using oscilloscopes for checking the network and other components. You can find them on the video description. And as I said, if you're interested to learn more about this oscilloscope, you can find the other videos on our channel or you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. Please don't forget to write on the comment if you want me to check this oscilloscope or any other oscilloscope on other systems so I can make more videos for you guys. And thank you very much again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.